Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, we're going to be deploying the VCSA version 7 in VMware Workstation Pro. So if you see on the screen here, what we're going to be doing is deploying this. We're going to be naming it VCSA01. This is the vCenter server appliance, if you guys aren't aware. And this is just the configuration that we're going to be using, 192.168.99.60. And, you know, this is my little environment that I'm using. I have an ESXi host. I have a 2022 VM that's supporting DNS, DHCP. No, no, DHCP, no. DNS and Active Directory. And then we have a Windows 11 machine in our environment. So if you guys are enjoying this, please like, subscribe, share, you know, like we always say. So let's just minimize this. Actually, I want to bring it over to my second screen. And I want to go ahead and jump onto my Windows server, okay? So I already mounted the ISO for the VCSA in this server. So if you see here, it's part of my D drive. If we go to the VCSA UI installer, Win32, we can install it right here, the installer. We'll double click the installer, we'll minimize this. And this is the installer for vCenter server. We have install, upgrade, migrate, restore. This is our primary and first vCenter server, so we're gonna be installing a new one. There's two stages. The first stage, we're gonna be deploying vCenter server, and in the second stage, we're gonna be setting it up, okay? So let's go ahead and make this bigger. We can go to next. I'm not sure if you can see it because my big head might be over here, but if we just bring this over here, we can see it here, next. And we can accept the user license agreement. We can, I want to use 192.168.99.50. At, uh, oh, this is my vCenter. Excuse me, this is the ESXi host that we're going to be connecting to. I'm sorry. So this is the credentials that we set up in our ESXi. So root and then your fancy password, whatever you put, and we can hit next. And with the certificate warning, just go ahead and hit next. The name I'm going to be making this is V. CSA01 oh, V VC VCSA. So V Center Server Appliance. Okay, and then my root password. Okay, so let's hit next here. For the deployment size, I wish they had something smaller than teeny because this is going to be still overkill for what we're doing in our demo in our lab, but this is what the size we're going to be using. In your real environment, it all depends on your size of your infrastructure. You would go accordingly to that. Okay, let's hit next. This is my data store. Remember in the other video I made, uh, I, I created the data store because, it, you know, when you initially install ESXi, the, the flash memory is installed the ESXi OS, then there was no data store. So I had to add a hard drive and make that a new data store, which I assigned 150 gigs, okay? And I wanna enable thin disk mode so, so it doesn't allocate everything at once. As you can see, you can hover over it and then you know read. Okay, let's go ahead and hit next. So let me... Uh, let me do this. Let me actually log in to our ESXi host. So we can um, understand what we're doing here. So now I'm logged back into my host, right? So let's go back here. So if we look at this, the VM, the, the network is VM network. So if we go back here, networking, we have uh, do, 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 virtual switches, virtual ports. We have VM network right here. This is where this is gonna be going into. We have zero VMs because this is gonna be our first VM in our infrastructure, okay? We're gonna statically assign this to 192.168.99.60, okay? Oh, this is the FQ FQDN, let's copy that. So the FQDN, which is fully qualified domain name, we'll make this V, CSA, 
zero one dot in my case it's going to be infosec pat dot local okay this is going to be the fully qualified domain name and then we'll put this subnet mask dot zero was 24 bit and my gateway is 192.168.0.2 I believe. Let me look just to make sure. 99.1. Okay. I don't know where I got zero. That one, my DNS server. So if we go back here, oh, I already, I X out of it. Sorry. Let's go back to here. Let's do ipconfig slash all. And then our DNS server is going to be 192.168.99.100.2 was my DNS server, not my gateway. Okay, so that's our Active Directory. So 192.168.99.100. See that? Okay, so everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and hit next. All right, this is the summary of what we're going to be installing. All that good stuff, hit finito, and then here it goes. So now it's gonna initialize the install and all that stuff. Wait, what is this? Is this the, all right, we can X out of here. So let's go back here, go back to VMs. We can see that this VM is deployed. And if you look at, let's bring this up a little bit. Let's see if we can bring this up. We can't, but you see here, the import, like it's actually importing it. I don't know if you can see it because my big head, or maybe you see it right here. It says it's running. Uh, I don't know why I can't bring this up a little more. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see if I can try. All right, it's fine. So it's gonna go ahead and deploy this. This might take about five to 10 minutes. So I wanna go ahead and pause the video and resume once this is complete, cool? All right, guys, so that was stage one. It's about 99% now. So it's configuring the machine. So this is, like I said, this is stage one of deploying VS, uh, vCenter server. So we can continue here onto stage two. That took about 20 minutes. So just a heads up, you know, it was like a 20 minute process. Now let's go ahead and continue here onto stage two. Actually, let me, let me copy that. Hopefully I can copy that. Let's do a notepad, just so I can uh, make a note of that. Cool, just so I can remember. All right, so let's go ahead and hit continue here. Thank God my first continue didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it's like, hey guys, you need to uh, copy that so I don't forget. All right, so stage one is complete. Stage two, we can go ahead and hit next. We can use sync time. I'm gonna do sync time with my ESXi host. That should be fine. And then you can you can enable SSH, you can or you can leave it disabled. And when you say like uh, for vCenter, security applying HA, enable, you know, it needs to, I'm just gonna enable if it doesn't really matter. Okay, just for later on so I don't, don't forget, I'll just leave it enabled. Just in case I wanna use my putty and SSH to it. All right, so I wanna make a little bit of notes here. Since this is a lab, I'm gonna leave the domain. So it's gonna be vSphere. Uh, I can't type in. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it defaulted, okay? So that, that should be fine here. Let's copy this. Let's put it up here. Paste. Administrator. My password is going to be my fancy password. Okay. So I want to just take a note of all this stuff. Okay. Sorry. Just so I just remember. All right. So user is going to be administrator and then my password is going to be my password okay that's not my password but I just want to put it there 
All right, so that's perfectly fine. Everything else is good. We're gonna go ahead and hit next here. We don't have to join, that's fine. Just go ahead and hit next. And this is, it said it's ready. So let's hit finito, hit okay. We don't need to worry about pausing it. So in the meantime, while this is doing its process, let's go jump on DNS and go ahead and create a DNS record for our vCenter server. Because we didn't have, we haven't done that yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new A record. It's gonna be vcsa01, okay, and 2.168.99.60. Let me just make sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. I have so many IPs in my head, you know, when I do my Cali box, I have different subnets, different VLANs, different this. So if I don't verify VCSA, VCSA01, okay, we'll add this host, boom, hit done. Let's refresh this. Let's go to reversed, see if it's there. It is here, cool. And now let's see if we can ping that. Let's see, ping vcsa01, boom. We're able to ping it, so we're good. So far, so good. So let's minimize this. And this stage two, I don't know how long this is gonna take. This might take another 20 minutes, but at this point, it's a waiting game. So we'll pause one more time. You know what, it looks like it's gonna go. We'll give it a few minutes and yeah, let's see. This doesn't look like it's gonna take a long time, but it's definitely gonna take more time than just listen to me blabber. So let's just, you know, resume once this finishes and we can continue the process, okay? All right, guys, so let's continue. Stage two is complete. So that took another 15 minutes. So it's probably about a 40 minute, 35, 40 minute process to install uh, vCenter, okay? So now it's complete. Let's go ahead and copy this. Okay, so let's just copy this and just go back to this page, uh, this document. Just take some notes, okay? Cool, so let's go ahead and hit close here. And if we double click on our VM here, double click on it, we can see that we can access it through HTTP. All right, so let's try to give it a go. Let's see if we can do it. So let's go ahead and just go to HTTP, oh, HTTPS, V, Let's see if we can just get to, because we did add DNS, so that should be good. So now we can just hit the launch vSphere client, HTML5. And we should be golden in a second. Give this a few minutes. All right, let's see, log back in. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. In the other one, we can try to connect to as well. Let's copy this. While that's loading, let's see if we can get to the management. All right, let's see. Give this a few moments, okay. So we can get here, so let's try root. And then my fancy password. Perfect, we are in the vCenter management. So we have configured that. 
Now let's get into vSphere. So this is going to be the administrator at vSphere.local. If I can spell. Uh, let's want to make sure I get everything correct. Okay, and then my fancy password. Okay, log in. Hopefully everything works. So here we can see the summary. We can see our host name, the product, the version, the build, monitor, disks. You know, you can see probably Pat's data store in here. You know, everything in here, the network, the database, the whole shebang, access, the networking, everything that's associated with this machine. Firewall, I don't think there's any firewall rules, time, blah, 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 administration, syslog, and all that stuff, okay? So in here is our vCenter. So you guys should be, that's it, that's fine. Reset back to green. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, this is vCenter, this is where like companies access and monitor all their VMs that reside in their vCenter or in their VMware environment. So that pretty much concludes this video. We can, you, you can you know, mess around with this and go to configure, permissions, monitor, data centers, and we have no data centers quite yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is going to, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead, X that out. I mean, this is all for demoing. So that's how you install vCenter server or the vCSA 7 uh, version 7. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. Thank you so much for checking me out. Again, like, subscribe, share, and join my Discord. Hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on social media. And if you have any questions, just reach out. Thank you so much.